Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on in to a early LEGO Spring Batman set review. Today we are looking at set number 76182. This is the Batman cowl. It has 410 pieces and will be retailing for $59.99 USD or $79.99 Canadian starting on April the 26th. This was actually sent to me early by LEGO to do a review of and I'm gonna be honest I don't think that this works. It doesn't work for a number of reasons. I don't know if masks without fully covering the faces work because they've done something really weird here, which you'll see in a second, as well as they've changed up the stand for some reason. So it's not the same as the other superhero ones or the Star Wars ones. I don't like that part of it. Like one of them, Venom, does have a little bit of maybe specialty, like they've kind of made it a little bit more unique but it's still at its core the same stand this they've changed it they've added dark transparent pieces i don't know why i i get what they're doing i do get it it just looks very weird this like chin strap here it honestly just reminds me of like like a captain america chin strap like it just it just doesn't I've, it just doesn't feel like Batman. If you could see here a bit of the stand, they've just completely changed it. They've got all these dark transparent pieces. You could see the Technic pins inside. You've also got some transparent pieces there on the bottom. So it's just very confusing as to like what they're doing here. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I don't know if you like keep spinning it around, looking at it from the side, it just looks so angry like the, the nose is pointy i think the nose actually looks pretty good and the eyes and everything like that the cowl it's just there's something off about this one and i don't know what like exactly it is but let's keep turning it around here so you could see the rest of it on the back there not sure why there's a flat tile there like it, it, it confuses me why they do some things like that up on the top you could see nothing special going on Again, I like the shape of the ears on the cowl. I think that's probably one of the best parts and how they've kind of integrated that into this. I do have a picture if you want to see. It's on screen now, actually, of the face before it's being built so you can see some of the colors and, and how these eyes actually work because I don't want to take it apart once I've built it. So I've taken that picture that you can see on screen now. But back to this... I don't know, uh, he just looks so angry, you know what I mean? You, you can angle the nose a little bit, you can lift it if you want. There, there's nothing else really to do here, you can, you can do this, you can play around with that. Have a scared Batman, I don't know. I, again, like this should be like his mouth, where his mouth is. So it just, I don't know if it necessarily works, there's also dark gray in here. Like, I get that the cowl is important, and honestly, if you're going to start with something for DC, you do start with, I think, I think you should start with someone big, like Batman. Last year they started with Iron Man for Marvel. But, I again, it's there's something, something about this, it, it didn't work, I don't think, and I've seen that comment from a lot of people. So here's the plaque, and... I don't think they should have put the Batman logo there. It makes it seem like we're never going to get anything else for DC. I think there's a lot of other cool characters that you could do. But, I mean, like Flash and, and whenever Aquaman appears in a Batman set or a DC set, it's always brand new Batman. So, I guess it's fine. And just everything in the future, if they do more DC ones, are just going to be Batman. So, like I said and did in my other reviews... The box is really nice. I, I do like it. There's actually a Wonder Woman lasso there on the bottom of the box there behind the piece count. So that's pretty interesting that they've got her lasso there in black uh, for Batman and DC. I like the logo. That's an interesting logo there. And I don't know. I, I think that DC should be somewhere here. Not sure why. Again, it's branded under Batman. Probably shouldn't be. Up on the top of the box, you do have one of the Nexo Knight shields as the piece there. Side, back, we'll come back to. I like the, the cowls there looking at you face forward. That's pretty neat. And uh, underneath, nothing going on. But uh, let's take a closer look at this back here. I, I, I think that it's really fascinating one thing. So here is the reference pictures here. And it's interesting because there's a lot of like, like blue. And I know that's used for like lighting and stuff like that to make his cowl have more depth and stuff like that in the comics in contrast to the black background but i think that it's just interesting the the choices they have here specifically with this one here 
Catwoman's in that picture. I think that's really strange because looking at all the other reference pictures for other um, characters and things like that, I don't know about the Star Wars ones, but for the superhero ones, for Venom and for Carnage, they didn't have like him fighting Spider-Man or anything like that. And so when you look at the cowls here in these pictures, I don't think that it matches the one there in the center. I don't think that that, like, I don't see that at all. Uh, I see maybe the eyes and maybe the nose and the point that they're trying to go and the ears. But other than that, I, I, I don't know. So here is uh, the instructions. I like it. It's simple. You've got uh, the Batman cowl there and nothing else. I like that on these uh, 18 plus instructions. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at how much detail they went into here for DC. They didn't do this for Carnage or, or Venom. They did do this, however, for the Star Wars ones this year. But it just confuses me. Like, look at this. You could pause and read. And I understand, like, it's Batman. It's a huge character. But, like, come on now. Be, be fair with everybody across the board, I think. Not, not a fan of that. Also, black instructions. Just wanted to point that out. They said they were moving away from that. Because just to show you here, with Venom, it's on white. So they've literally said they're not doing black instructions anymore. And yet, here it is here. What's up with that? Well, anyways, everyone, that is my review of the Batman cowl. And thank you so much again to Lego for sending this to me early. I hope that this is a good example of me being honest with Lego's products and the stuff that they sent me because I'm very happy Batman got another set this year out of the very few that we are getting. And I'm glad that they are doing the cowl. I just don't know. And I, I can't really say like what they could do differently. It's just it's there's something about it it just feels a little bit off i'm still happy to have it i'm happy to have it against and up on the shelf with all of the other helmets that i have so far i love the helmets in general and i am very excited to see the future of batman and dc hopefully they don't brand it under batman but it feels like they're going to i'm not sure why there isn't a dc logo on here like all the other boxes have dc on them so i don't know why they skipped out on this on the 18 plus set anyways everybody let me know down below in the comment section am i being too hard on this set is it better than i'm actually saying let me know are you going to be picking this up i do want to hear your thoughts about the helmets in general what do you think of this helmet, the other helmets, and what DC or Batman characters would you like to see them do in the future? I definitely see a lot of really cool options. I'm thinking Black Manta would be a really cool one to actually get. I think it would be really unique in the shape of it and would be really wide. I think that would be one that I would pick for DC to do next. I think it would be really neat. Be sure to check out at the end here as well. There is a playlist linked for the other Batman 2021 sets that I have reviewed so far. As well as there's also here a news video about what we can expect for DC in the summer and fall. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.